Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag's My Simple Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a backup script dot back file for one database for MySQL database in Windows. So I will write, I will just explain the dot back file for the one database uh, for the one database in MySQL database in Windows. So here we'll just start with uh, this starting on the my script record and here i'm just taking the date so whatever the date time stamps will be there time stamp, i will get it from my local machine so i'm getting from the local machine second you need to change your database user here and which database has all the rights all the rights means uh, I have I am using the root root data uh, user has all the rights so I'm using root and check with the your database password database user password whatever the, you can log in with the root so same password you have to provide here and third you have to provide the path of the your your uh, error log path so you create one folder I'm just creating one folder into the C drive this is the folder name I'm going to create It's my folder my uh, mysql auto backup so in this folder i'll just yeah automatically it will create the error uh, dumb error logs txt if any uh, error will occur and second is my uh, my dumb dot uh, mysql dumb dot exe file so mysql uh, dumb dot exe path is this so I have installed the gem. I'm working with the gem. So gem and MySQL inside the there is a bean and inside the bean there is a MySQL DOM dot file. So let me check with that. Here I, I'm just opening the C uh, gem seven MySQL and there is a bean inside the bean folder. MySQL dump will be there. So MySQL, MySQL dump, MySQL dump dot exe will be there. Next, uh, I'm just creating the backup path. So I already created a folder, same folder I'm using for the backup path. And backup zip path, uh, here I'm not uh, creating any zip. So just remove this code for now. And next, if one database I want to take backup, so I'm just writing the database name here. So you have to change to all the read part with your required parameters. So let me open my back file. This folder I have created, and that is my batch file is already there. So extension will be back. If extension is not visible, then go to the view and go to the option. And here you can just click on the un uncheck this one hide extension for non file types. So we will get the file extension. And if you want to create the new uh, new file for that, just like new file, so go to the new file and So BAT extension is a batch file like that you can create and just I'm copy and pasting this code so from where try to start just copy paste this file to your batch file required changes <coughs> you have to do that the root then second is user database then you have to create the path and same path and just get the uh, mysql dump.exe path and here my backup path and here is my database i'm just uh, creating for the one database control s let me run, run this code here i have folder empty so right click on that i'm just creating this one file is running see file is created so 
dot sql is my dump file and this one my log file log file is empty if any error, error will occur then it will be present in the my log file and this one is the dumping uh, error log file and if you uh, want to check the dot sql file is correct or not so right click on that you can open if your file size is small then you can open and you can check so see my database character state everything is coming my uh, hair contains the one database uh, table so that is a user info and there is a dumping table data so these are the data is there so it's tutorial this data is inside the table like this you can do the uh, dot batch file you can create the backup for that so in, in this video we have learned how to create the backup script dot batch file for the one database for the one database in the mysql databases in windows using jam so thank you for watching for this video